Girl, it's what I heard. Allegedly, it's just the word. Allegedly, it's on the street. Allegedly, I sing to the beat. Allegedly, lee, lee, lee. Allegedly, lee, lee, lee. Allegedly, lee, lee, lee. Allegedly. We've got Nene Leaks on The Breakfast Club. Oh, Nene Leaks is the guest host on The Breakfast Club. So she starts with Brent coming on TikTok doing the if I miss the shot, I'm gay trend. So he, we thought he was coming out. We weren't surprised. I was like, okay, great. We weren't shocked. Were you shocked? But now Nene's giving a back pedal and a peep up. The story Nene telling, it sounds like your son's giving a soft launch of his sexuality. Nene said if Brent is gay, she don't care as long as he happy. Good for you, Nene. I thought she was giving an interview, but I guess she ain't got nothing to talk about. She also said she has no plans to come back to Housewives and the girls are barely holding it down. Well, you sued the network, and according to the Kempire, you received a $20 million settlement. Now, I don't know if that's true, but your hair's looking mighty fresh on this non-interview, so it could be. Have they reached out to you at all? She said no, and they shouldn't. <laughs> she said her and the girls are cool, but she has no interest in being on the show. We've got some white women news. You know they're acting a fool down in white women news. So you know them heifers be stealing. And now we have found out why two credible actresses of color, black specifically, were shut out of the best actress category. And it's because of systematic racism and cronyism. Variety reports. The Academy is looking into the campaigns for the nominees of this year's Oscars after scrutiny arose following Angela Riseborough's surprise nomination for To Leslie. After the actor's grassroots campaign enlisted a number of celebrities to help spread the word about the small indie film which only grossed $27,000 at the box office, Oscar voters and viewers are left wondering whether Riseboro broke any rules or is just smartly playing the awards game. Well, because she contacted people like Gwyneth Paltrow personally, she specifically mentioned that Viola and Danielle were also in the top running, so she really needed to give her film the extra push. Now, it's against the rules to campaign against other nominees by name. Rumors have swirled regarding aggressive campaign tactics focusing on social media posts from members of the Actors Branch. The Board of Governors is scheduled to meet Tuesday and they will discuss to Leslie. Current AMPA voters from various branches agreed to speak with Variety anonymously to discuss what they know about the controversy and whether they think the Academy should rescind Riseboro's nominee. Girl, they just suspended my live privileges on TikTok. Oh, please tell me I'm recording. Oh, thank God. Sometimes I just be pontificating and don't be recording. It makes me depressed for the whole day. I was just reading that article on TikTok because I be doing lives. They suspended it for hateful content. I can't. But I'm going to read you some of what the members of the Academy have to say. Anonymous lay. I'm going to read you two conflicting opinions. Do you remember that saying when you were a kid, snitches get stitches? Do you know how many movies and studios break the rules? And I'm talking about blatantly emailing members in a chain and saying, okay, I'm team insert name here. It's voting day and you know what to do. No one is going to snitch. Why would they? Riseboro's team didn't do anything wrong more than I see yearly. Probably did it closer to the rules than not. She'll be fine. Another said, can you imagine if Viola was being accused of what her and Andrea's team is being accused of? Viola wouldn't have gotten to the point of being nominated. She would have already been disqualified and kicked out of the academy. There's always one set of rules of one and one set of rules for another. Or should I say one set for black people? We see this all the time and the academy knows it, yet they choose to not do anything. 
So do I think she'll be kicked out? Hell no, because white is always right. She'll probably even win because the system is made for people like her to thrive, to succeed, to flourish. For black people, there is no system. We aren't flourishing, but I'll wait to see what they do. That must have been Taraji. That must have been Taraji or Octavia. <laughs> Only about three of us. <laughs> Maybe that was Whoopi. Maybe that was Whoopi. Whoopi's on it too. Could have been Queen Latifah. And more white women behaving poorly news. People Magazine reports that Brandy Glanville and Carolyn Manzo have departed the fourth season of Housewives Ultimate Girls Trip ahead of schedule, sources close to the magazine confirm. The two stars were filming in Marrakesh, Morocco for the past week for the second installment of the Ex-Wives Club, according to insiders, Glanville took things a little too far with Manzo during a party, kissing her multiple times throughout the evening without her consent. Caroline said, look, you get that Liz away from me. Caroline is like, I ain't Rob Dixon or Ava Pigford. Even Phaedra Parks would be down for a little Liz lick, but off camera. Off camera. Caroline said, look, I'm Catholic and we don't play that. Did you not see the show where her gay sister has had an issue in her family? Family. I'm sorry, you just can't be all kissing on and feeling on people. And you look like you have a little happy A. B and C. I wouldn't want you kissing on me. So Brandy got kicked off the trip. But before they could even tell Carolyn... She had to go process this outside of the reality television environment. I mean, Brandy does take it too far. Remember when she slapped Lisa Vanderpump? She'd just be putting her hands on people, and you don't play that. Because now if Carolyn had slapped the shit out of you, then it would have been her problem. So no, I, I actually got to side with Carolyn. You don't touch people. Simple as that. Just because you got a puss, don't give you the privilege. And also, uh, Brandy, you're peddling some mighty old wares. You're peddling around like your lamb when you're mutton. Maybe if you were young and supple, maybe if you were actually trying to get a kiss, you might get one. But you're old lizardy Liz. Don't nobody want that. Bravo has lost interest in Real Housewives of New York legacy over salary disputes and a lack of interest among the audience. Honestly, you look at the names like Kelly Kilgore, Ben Simone, Luann Decepts, and Dorinda Medley, there's a racial mistake bound to happen sooner than later. I mean, if you want to preserve old New York Flaps' skin, you could have a show called The Tannery Hour, where we actually show you how to paint and preserve your old leathers so they won't become wilted and withered. I think they should do the Tannery Hour. Real Housewives of Dubai star Nina Ali leaves the show after one season. Girl, they fired you because you gave nothing. Chanel was the star, Brooks was the bad mother, and the cracker was the saltine. The Jamaican girl, you could have given a little more to. Yay! Ghost Power Book 2 will be premiering March 17th, and it's already been renewed for season four with Michael Ealy joining the cast. Man, 50 Cent, you couldn't get fathering right, but you sure did get this show on point. I'm sure Marquise would rather have the father, but I'm grateful I got the show. Sadly, I'm making more money off this show than he's making since you cut him off. You are a sorry parent. I hope one day you need a kidney and he's the only one that's got it. In other news, I watched a football game for the first time in many weeks many, many years. And since it was the 49ers versus the Eagles, I was like, okay, well, I guess I live here, so I'm a root for the city I live in. Girl, I could tell, like, already in the third quarter, it was over. And I thought they had some hope, because, you know, it's the beginning of the third. They're only down by two. But um, I saw that the Giants were close to, you know, the Seahawks banner. And I thought, oh, the Giants just have to run it in there and then, you know, they'll be up one. And everybody looked at me and I thought, well, don't the, the Giants have to get into the Seahawks and the Seahawks have to get into the Giants? And they said, no, you, you score in your, your own banner. 
so I didn't even know where they were scoring. But I'm glad I kept watching because when I saw Trent somebody grab that quarterback and slam him to the ground, I was like, ooh, I haven't seen a skirmish like that since loving hip hop. That was basketball wise, Tammy Roman. Them players was throwing bows and I was here for every minute. But the Philadelphia Eagles will face the Kansas City Chiefs at the Rihanna concert this year. It's the Rihanna concert. I'm looking forward to hearing her caterwaul and hopefully seeing another fight on the field. Well, I hope y'all enjoyed the show. Don't forget to hit that notification bell. Make sure it's on because you know they be messing with us. And check out this week's Pop Roast right over here. Alleged what? Alleged who? Allegedly, Lee, Lee, allegedly. Don't blame, don't sue. Allegedly, allegedly.